Okay, the second um, carbonyl compound is ketones. So, ketones, first you need to look at the C double bond O. Okay, the frequency is around 1725 to 1705. Um, the other things that you need to remember conjugation move the absorption to a lower frequency similar to aldehyde and another one that you need to uh, remember is on the ring strain yeah when we have a ring strain ring strain will move the absorption to a higher frequency ring strain mean when from the six membered ring the normal one is six membered ring Okay, that's why the C double bond O for six member ring is in the range. In the range means exactly in the range from your correlation chart. But when the number of ring um, reduce from five, uh, sorry, from six to five, from five to four, from four to three, the frequency of the C double bond O is um, increased or higher. So ring strain makes the carbonyl uh, absorption frequency become higher than the normal frequency okay okay for ketones normally you need to look at the c double bond o and then the rest is depends on the structure of the molecule let's say when you have um, this ketone remember what are the bonds that you need to list you have the c double bond o ketone you have a C double bond C alkene, you have the CHSP2, and you have the CHSP3. So you need to look at your correlation chart and put the frequency. If you have the spectrum, it must be exactly from the spectrum. This will uh, explain later. And if you don't have any spectrum, you just pick any value in the range of the functional group or in the range of the uh, bonds. Okay, so next one is carboxylic acid. Okay, carboxylic acid is very, very easy to identify if you have a carboxylic acid because the OH bond is very broad. Okay, I want you to check the OH for alcohol and the OH for carboxylic acid from the spectrum. Is it any different in terms of the appearance of the OH peak for alcohol and carboxylic acid? Okay, check this one. Okay, for carboxylic acid, how to uh, differentiate if you have uh, alcohol or carboxylic acid? Again, carboxylic acid, uh, you must see the presence of C double bond O. Okay, C double bond O around 1710 and again conjugation moves the absorption to a lower frequency. OH is very easy to identify uh, around 3400 to 2400 is a very broad peak. And then another, um, another uh, bonds that you need to list down is the CO. Okay, CO as you can see the range is quite B. So, which one, which peak that I need to choose? The answer is any peak between the range and try uh, to find out the most intense peak within the range. Okay, Because anything below 1400 is fingerprint. What does it mean by fingerprint? There are so many peak present. Not all peak is important. You need to choose only the most important peak. So, how to know that peak is important? Look at the range and the most intense peak you need to choose the most intense peak okay next one we move to ester <coughs> ester the uh, the general formula is r c double bond o oops, hmm. oops. okay r c double bond o o r Okay, so the special things about ester, again you see the C double bond O. Um, there are two parts that can um, occur the conjugation, okay, whether it's from this part or this part. Okay, look at this structure. Yeah? When you have a normal ester, this is normal ester without any conjugation, the frequency is 1735. But from six-membered ring to five-membered ring, remember the ring strain, 
will increase the C double bond O frequency from 1735 to 1770. Okay, look at this part. When you have the R, this is the R, I put R1, R2. So conjugation at R1 lower the frequency. Same goes when you have five member ring. Okay, five member ring. So this is the R1 part. The conjugation from R1 part move uh, move the absorption to a lower frequency. But when you have a conjugation on the R2 part, this is the R2. Okay, so this, this is the normal ester. When you have conjugation at R2 part, it's move the frequency to a higher absorption. To a higher absorption. So, uh, what we can conclude here, when you have a ring stream, uh, it's move the absorption to a higher frequency. When you have a conjugation from the R1 part, it will move the frequency to a lower frequency than the normal range. But when you have the conjugation from R2 part, it will move the frequency to a higher frequency from the normal range. So it's quite um, special for S term um, whether the C double bond O is lower or higher from the normal range is depending on the structure of the molecule. Okay, another thing you need to check on the CO. Okay, next one is on amides. Okay, the general formula for amide is R C double bond O N. Oops, N H. Oh, N H. Maybe N H two or R C double bond O N. Hmm. R C double bond O N H R. Oh. Okay, or R C double bond O and R two. So it's depending on the type of amide, whether it's primary, secondary, or tertiary. So the difference between amines and amide, you for amide you must see the C double bond O. Okay, so again, um, for other bonds, for N H. Bending, okay, bending now. For NH, you must see how many spike. If you have a two spike, means that is primary amide. When you have only one spike, means it's a secondary amide. When there is no spike, means that is a tertiary amide. It's similar to amines. It's just that for amides, additional peak you see for C double bond O. Okay. انضم معنا الآن واشترك بالقناة ليصلك كل جديد وايساج معا نحو مستقبل مشرق